Oh, I got a fish back here at this rod. I've got the clickers on and he just activated the clicker just a little bit and I can see that rod tip oh, right there. He's messing with it there. Maybe a small fish, but it could be something that has it and it's just kind of sitting there. We're about to crank down on him and find out. He's definitely, he's definitely working that rod tip a little bit. Let's just, let's just put the steel to the jaw here. And, May have just yeah i think he got the bait no he didn't either he was just coming at me i thought it was a small fish i just pulled the bait out of his mouth and by gosh he's just coming right at me well he come up out of the water right there too <laughs> these old fish they're fun to catch ain't they i'm just out here on the bank today kick back, relax, having a good time, waiting on these fish to come through. And we've got one here that ain't a bad fish to start out with here. That's a blue cat. Looks like he's got mud all over him. I'll show you when I get him landed here. Let's just pull him around here on the bank. Come here, blue kitty, calm it down. You tricked me. I thought you was a small fish and had got the bait. <laughs> Set the rod down there and get hold of this thing before he tries to take back off. Come here now. Well, my camera, my camera mount's all out of whack there, but we're gonna roll with it. A little fun size blue. It's a female, just real small mouth there. But uh Nice fish. It had mud all up in the side of the tail and everything there when I was reeling it in. But I think as it's flopped around here on the at the surface here at the water edge, it's washed some of it off. Nevertheless, good to get bit. Let's let it go. Come on out here, blue kitty. Your laundry thing. You about tricked me. I thought it was a small fish and just ripped the bait off. I about give up reeling down. That daggone thing was coming right at me. But uh, yeah, y'all, I'm just hanging out here today, having a lazy day. I've pulled the kayak up here on the bank. Uh, got me a chair up here to set on. I'm in the Old Town kayak today, my pedal kayak. And uh, just got these baits out here. It's a deep flat, 40-ish feet out there um, comes off the shore kind of steep has a big flat a uh, pretty long flat and then goes out to the main channel there where it drops off to 70 plus feet so it's a sunny day out here in the 50s it's a comfortable day and um, you know thought some of these fish might be working up here on this deep flat getting them a bite there's a lot of bait out there on that flat and um, got me some skipjack tossed out i got that's all i got with me today skipjack i got pieces of cut uh, chunks, headpiece, and a tailpiece all out there right now. That one there ate a just a smaller chunk of bait. So I'll probably just replace it with another chunk and get it back out and get back over here to my chair and my uh, candy crush that I'm playing and just hang out again. It's just one of them days. That's one of the nice things about catfishing. You want to come out and catch some fish and just kick back and relax, you can do it. And every once in a while, a good fish will come along and that clicker will start zinging or you'll see your rod tip doubled over and it'll interrupt the relaxation, reel one in and then, uh, you know, get back to kicking back again. So that's what I'm going to do today, y'all. Just hang out, hopefully catch a few fish. Let's do it. Well, there is the next bait. Just a chunk of skipjack. Cut the gut pocket out there just to give it a little bit more smaller profile that's what that last one would eat so i'll step back here boy do you see that that right there about got me about had a blooper here on the video falling over backwards I'll launch that out there got my new rods here i'm rocking today finally at a point here now where i can start using them on video but the time you see this video these rods have either already been launched or there's at least been an announcement made on them but this is the the golly whopper this is my signature series rod it's a kayak rod a boat rod and a bank rod all in one today i've got the longer 
uh, bank extension on here so I got you know a little bit a little bit longer uh, handle here for leverage for making longer casts from the bank one rod that can do it all because I do it all I'm not just somebody who fishes off the kayak you know that's something that I do most of the time I'm mostly kayak fish but uh, don't always fish off the kayak sometimes I'll hop on my friend's boat go out there uh, you know fish with them off the boat there sometimes I'm taking my kayak I pull it up here on the bank want to fish off the bank and so I don't want to have a, a specialty rod that's just made for each one of those applications because you know if I'm fishing in the kayak for part of the day and fishing on the bank part of the day I don't want to carry a set of rods for each. I don't have space for it. You know, I don't have a, uh, the ability to do that. So it's nice to have one rod that can do it all. So anyway, I'm, I'm done selling rods on here today. I'm just going to get back over here to my chair, wait on the next bite. Got another one here working. Made a little short run there with it and I got, got the camera on and uh, I wonder if it's another situation like that first one there where he's got it and maybe started coming at me. They may have just let it go too. No, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Yeah, he's got it. Get that clicker off before I drive him insane. Yeah, buddy. Reel us another one in, y'all. So much for rest and relaxation today, huh? These fish are gonna keep me active. That's all right. Guess if you're gonna have something get you out of a chair on a nice late winter day, can't, I want it feels like early spring, but we're still here in February, so I can't call it spring yet. But if something's gonna get me out of that chair today, it might as well be a fish. Let's get him up here. We're getting close. Just doing his thing out there. I think it's another blue. Felt him roll a couple times. Yeah, it is. Lay up on this flat today, y'all. There's at least two of them up here anyway. They roaming around, eating on that bait and schools of bait out there. And you know, if you got a piece of cut bait, this one here ate a tail. Skipjack tail. Let's bring him up. That's one on the body chunk and one on a tail piece now. I've been trying to make some of my audience happy lately by using them tails. People call me wasteful when I throw them out because, you know, I like them head pieces. The head pieces and the first part of the bait right behind the head is what I catch the bulk of my big fish on. But you can catch fish on the tails too, and this here's one that's that's got him a bite of it. He's gonna tear my hand up. I need to get my glove out of the box there. Nah, nah, you done now. That's another fun sizer right here, guys. Yeah, I'll have to squat down again. Left the tripod at the house. Every time you know I go out in a different kayak. I always forget something. <laughs> There's that one right there, though. I'll take it. It's a fun time. I call them fun sizers because, well, they fun. All right, blue kitty. That's another female fish. Get out of here. He thought about coming and trying to nip on my foot there, didn't he? Take a chunk out of it. Thought he's one of them sharks that I was catching down there in Florida here recently. All right, well. Let me get over here in the cooler. We'll get another skipjack tail and throw it out. And y'all, that other tail that that fish had just eat was just uh, the actual tail. I didn't cut off the fins here, nothing. I just run it through the back like I would a normal piece of cut bait and threw it out. So that's what we're going to do with this one too. Go over here and find my hook wherever it went. Lord, I'm stepping on it here. I will go through my foot. It's one thing to get a hook through the hand, through a finger. Boy, it's another you get one 
through your foot. The only thing worse than stepping on a hook would probably be getting one through your eyeball or maybe your private parts. That wouldn't be good either. That's probably getting through your private parts would probably be the, the worst scenario. Eyeball second and probably foot third. All right, let's toss us another one in. I'm gonna go over this way and get this one. There we go. And then reels there. My regular audience probably noticed that reel's a little different. That's a Shimano Dakota 600 there. Got these new fancy rods. You know, I thought I might try out a couple new reels. They got a level one. I've been using non-level one for a while. So that's a little bit, taking a little bit to get used to. But a lot of striper fishermen like these. It's a lower profile. So I'll kind of show you here. I got some of my Daiwa reels here. And you just put them side by side, kind of give you the, um, you know, side by side comparison here. Let me make sure I got that on frame, yeah. But these two reels, probably be easier if I had them in the sun, maybe. I'm a terrible, you know, I've been doing this YouTube crap a while. I'm a terrible videographer. But what I was trying to get at, the Daiwa reels, the spool, a little bit more narrow, but it's taller. The Shimano is a little bit wider and it's a lower profile. Maybe see them side by side there. So this reel, easier to palm if you wanted to, or is this one not so much? So I don't know, I'm just gonna try them out and see. You know, if I like them, I'll keep them. If not, I still got these Daiwas here that I like. That's not a fish, that's just me adjusting that rod. Don't go getting excited there. But uh, nevertheless, again, got the new fancy rods. Thought I might get me a fancy reel. The clicker on them, you know, pretty good there, seemed like. So I don't think it's quite as loud as these uh, Daiwa Seagates, but it's loud enough. So anyway, back to it. Got another fish working this rod. Three fish now that's hit and three different rods. I'll go ahead and turn that clicker off and we're just gonna crank down on him. Yeah, he's on there, man. Let's get him, let's really man. They fit three different rods now. They're just working. I've got these baits kind of fan casted out onto this flat. And you know, they're just, these fish are roaming around as they become active, come up and eat and they'll eventually find your baits. This one here, he, okay, there he come. I thought he had me wrapped in something right there. All kinds of like chunk rock here as it drops off down to the flat. And then it's just mud flat out there. What used to be old farmland, you know, before they flooded this to make the reservoir. All right, this is a small fish here. He's a little fella. Smallest one of the day, just a dink. But it's a bite, man. I come out here, you just, you know, hoping to catch a few fish today, and the fish gonna oblige me, even if it is a small one. Oh, quit. Let me let you go. Help me to help you, old blue cat. Yeah, well, there he is. Just old, old small kitty. There you go, he'll take off. He's confused. He don't know where he's going. He's coming back over here to me now. He'll get his bearings directly. I'll reach down there and grab him again. Now he heard I was going to grab him again. He said he's done with me. He's just making his way down to Banco. You'd think he'd take a left. And catfish may, they may have different rights and lefts. There he goes. Might be like them British people drive on the wrong side of the road. Okay, well, let's get us another bait on and do it again. But I'm gonna walk down here on the bank a little ways. Just again, so I can get a little distance between these baits and the cast and whatnot. Just a chunk of skipjack. I don't know if I mentioned it earlier there during the intro. Skipjack is the only bait I got with me today. I went out yesterday. 
Just about a launch out there. I uh, went out yesterday afternoon and caught some fresh skipjack. And then I actually caught one trolling on the way up to this spot. I had a my jig rod or my skipjack rod there with some crappie jigs on. I had it trolling off the back of the kayak on the way, which in this kayak, you know, I'm pedaling along about three miles an hour or so. And it's perfect trolling speed for skipjack. Had one come up and just nail it. I reset my clicker there. Get that set. We're ready for the next fish. Here we go again. This is on that Shimano reel. Just gonna back down. Yeah, he's on there, man. Get that clicker off and let's reel him in. Yep, wasn't long between fish. They've hit on opposite sides though. This one here, it's the one we cast out to the left. I just cast that other bait way out to the right. This one here, man, he was running right at me. Now he's trying to go back the other way. Guess I could tighten up my drag a little bit. Might help us turn him a little quicker. <laughs> It's been a pretty active day so far, y'all. Fish number four, and I don't know how long I've been out here now, an hour and a half or so. Usually when I'm bank fishing, I don't catch quite as many fish as I do when I'm actively in the kayak, because I can't, in the kayak, you know, I can kind of put my baits right where I want them, get fish passing through areas and whatnot, and the bank, I'm just kind of, you know, hoping fish come to me, hoping they find the bait. So I don't typically get as many. But today, got us number four here. He's missing an eyeball. This is old one eye right here. Look at him. He's probably been caught before. I don't know. He goes thrashing around them rocks. He's liable to lose the other one. Come on now. Let me get you undone. Come on, oh one eye. I probably can't say one eye in this days. This day in time, I'll get canceled. Yeah, we'll show you off to the world on on your good side here, fish. The one, the side with an eyeball still in your head. He's a you know larger dink, I guess we'll say. Let's send him on out of here. Go on now. That's another one on that tail piece, though. Them old skipjack tails getting it done. People that's been after me in the comments forever, they're, they're sowing their oats right now, man. Sowing their oats. I got a big fish in a, another recent video on a tail piece, too. It was the biggest fish I caught on that day. So uh, that's fine with me. If these tail pieces, if, if they make me a believer, if I start catching a lot of fish on them or big fish on them, I'll use them because uh, normally if I got a decent amount of bait, I just throw the tailpiece out. So it mean I wouldn't need nearly as much bait if I started using them, that's for sure. Well, there's the next tail. Let's sling it out there. You watch and see. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, let's not sling it out just yet. Let's set that down and come over here. I think it was this one getting hit. It is. He's on it. Good timing, fish. Yeah, he's on there, man. He's on there. I thought, oh, there it is. Now I got done. Yeah, that fish was good timing. I had the camera running to throw out that next tail. I was going to say, you know, you talk about catfish getting some tail. I'm going to attract a different kind of audience. get a different kind of there's two kinds of catfish on the internet y'all there's the whiskered slimy kind like i'm catching today and then there's the whiskered slimy kind that's well you google it you'll find out <laughs> this fish here ate ahead every single cut of bait that i've thrown out today has gotten hit now. Every single rod's gotten hit. 
And this is a fairly large head too. He's a pulling man. This reel, you know, these Shimano reels, one thing I'm noticing here, they got a little bit bigger handle here and it sticks out a little further than my Daiwa. Kind of a, you know, personal preference thing, whatever you like. It feels good. It feels like a, you know, really solid reel. It's the level one that gets me. I really like the non-level ones. That's another fun size fish. We're going to get that head back too. It looks like it's been looks like it's been chewed on a little bit down there maybe some smaller fish let's get a hold of him and get him on up here that's probably that may be the biggest one so far it's, it's gonna be close it's definitely a solid fish for sure but there's what he eat that old skipjack head we'll probably go ahead and switch it out it looks like it's bled out there yeah, come on up here, fish. Well, let me get back down here in a crouching position to show this fish off. Of all daggone days to leave the tripod at the house. I was tell you, every time I switch out kayaks, it's always something. Like, Gosh, dog it. Today it was the tripod. Nice fish though, you know, quality, thick, what I call fun size fish, and he was fun. Well, let's let it go, we'll get our brother baits out catch some more they are active today up on this flat and they're gonna find these baits get on out of every one of them discombobulated there they go they starstruck is what it is you know it ain't every day they get caught by a youtuber that gets tens of views like me so uh these fish get excited they don't know how to act they don't know where where they're going where home is i'm gonna put this camera back on my chest here dry my hands off we'll go ahead and get that tail piece tossed back out and then we'll I'm probably just gonna cut another head that one there it's still usable if i didn't have bait i'd certainly reuse it and probably catch another fish on it but i do have bait and it does look like it's been bled out a little bit so We'll just go ahead and switch it out. There we go. Next one out there. I still had this skipjack sitting here where I'd cut the tail off of it. Let's just take the head and cut it off now. I'm gonna get these fins. Another thing I left aside from the tripod is this kayak didn't have any uh, bait shears my scissors trimming these fins off so I gotta Take the knife and get them You can leave them on but they don't really serve a purpose. So I like to Let's go ahead and cut them off anything that could potentially Mess up a hook set. I don't want on my bait. So I like to get the fins trim them off This bait here You can see hopefully on this. I'll, I'll kind of show you it's clearly it's been chewed on some but the meat there it's kind of blanched out it's white whereas you you see the new head how how pink it is up here and of course you got all the blood and the innards right there so this right here is going to put off a lot more scent there's uh, there's a little bit of flow they're pulling some water down there to dam so there is a little bit of flow wasn't noticeable coming up through here it's usually not on uh, this section of the river just because it's so deep and so wide here but the, there's enough flow that it's going to disperse the scent a little bit out there and let these fish that are kind of roaming around on the flat be able to come find it bombs away it's time to reel one in it has been a while yeah i got him He's on. Well, guys, I was sitting here wondering if I was going to get another fish or not. The old saying, 
If you don't like the weather, wait a minute, it'll change. Unfortunately, the same holds true if you do like the weather. I was having a nice day out here. It was sunny, you know, warm enough, comfortable. No wind when I got out here. And in the last hour and a half, two hours or so, the wind's picked up, all these clouds have rolled in, and it's gotten a little bit chilly. And coincidentally, hour and a half, two hours ago is about the last time I caught a fish. I don't know if the weather's got anything to do with it, but the uh, timing of it's suspect. Nevertheless, I got one here. That's another one on the tail. The tail getting it done today. Every one of these baits have been hit though, but I think this is, I think it's the third one on the tail. Been so long since I caught a fish, I about forgot. Yeah. That's another one, uh, you know, smaller fun size, larger, larger dink right there, we'll call it. He's got some mud up him too. He's probably, that other one was, had a lot on it earlier. I'm guessing these fish have probably been kind of hunkered down on this mud flat, you know, at some point here recently. This water has still been real cold. We've had water temps in the low 40s lately. Now, I ain't even going to try to get a hold of that and hand and pick him up there. Get on out of here. Get on now. I'm going to chase you now. I'm going to get you again. He's like, hell, I don't care. He's turned toward me. He might try to take a toe off. There he goes. Oh, he thought better of it. Oh, silly old fish. But yeah, y'all, I don't know. Well, maybe it's the weather. Uh, the bite was pretty good, you know, when I started out here. I mean, I was getting bit pretty consistently there, having a real nice day, but then the wind picked up, all these clouds come in, and uh, now it's gotten a little bit chilly, so. I don't know, could this be, you know, these fish on this flat, they could have moved, whatnot. Who knows, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna blame the weather regardless, because I gotta blame something. It can't possibly be my fault. But uh, nevertheless, y'all, I'm gonna give it probably, I don't know, 20, 30 more minutes out here. I'm gonna fish till about dark and see if I can get some more fish. If I do, we'll throw them on here at the end of this video. If not, I'll go ahead and just call this the closing. That way I don't have to film something else, you know. But nevertheless, if I don't get any more fish, it's been a good day. I mean, the first half of this afternoon was dang near perfect weather and, and the fishing's been pretty good too. I like me some bank fishing when it's like this, man. I can just kick back in a chair, relax, reel in some fish occasionally. It's just, a, you know, just a fun, relaxing thing to do. And with our water level being down for winter drawdown, we've got a couple more months of this where you can just go pretty much anywhere you want along the shoreline and be able to access it with uh, uh, with the water level being down. Once it's up to normal pool, you got all these overhanging trees and you're in people's yards and stuff. So uh, right now, the fall and winter months is a great time for bank fishing out here. But anyway, enough of me yapping. Let's get the heck out of here. I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Gonna get another one here, bonus fish. For those of you that stuck around, I just reeled in my other rod. Yep, I got him. I was just getting ready to go. I reeled in one of my other rods. I'm going to get these two. And it started clicking. Yeah. I don't have a lot of people stick around to the end of my videos, but for those of you who do, thanks. Appreciate you. Hopefully this fish will be worth sticking around for. For both of us. <laughs> that wind's getting cold. I'm about one layer short for this temperature right now. It was a nice day earlier, but boy, it's that wind blowing across that water that's in the low 40s. It'll cut through I got adapted to the warmer weather while I was down there on vacation in Florida. Come back home and 40s feel frigid. <laughs> Try to keep him out of that other line. I ain't got but one other bait left. There he is. Get on over here, blue cat. Let's get you unhooked. And you can go home and, and I'm going to go home. He's another, you know, I'd call smaller fun size. 
Come on up here, buddy. He slipped right through that bottom lip. I gotta be careful with this one. I sure don't want to wear no hook. That's a, I've had a good day of fishing. I don't want to ruin it and getting a hook in me. I'll quit now. He don't, he don't want to miss a second of his YouTube fame here. He wants every, every second of it. He's trying to make it last as long as possible. All right. There he is. I'm gonna hold him out. He's a, you know, smaller fun size. I'm happy with him. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. But they all want to come run up on the bank here for some reason. Every single one of them. I don't know what makes them want to do that. There he goes. They always eventually figure it out. All right, guys. I'm going for real this.